six innocent people who lost their lives in a tragic footballing accident. Fifteenth of April, nineteen eighty-nine. It was a beautiful day for football. The FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. On the day, twenty-four thousand Liverpool fans had travelled to Hillsborough, not knowing what was to come. This day had changed football for the future, and st as standing would be eliminated. The Liverpool supporters were in the Lepis Lane stand, and there was a small amount of turnstiles at Hillsborough for this use. Ch Chief Superintendent Duckingfield, who was not used to officiating football matches, ordered to open the exit gate to let the Liverpool, Liverpool supporters in. When the gate was opened, there was usually a steward who was stood in front of the tunnel where the stand is usually full, but this time there wasn't, and Liverpool fans ran down the tunnel, went through as it started crushing supporters. On the day, there were 766 injuries and 96 deaths. The influx of Liverpool fans had caused crushing some fans, as some fans had to climb over the fences and to the tier above. Moments after kickoff, a crush barrier was broken and fans started to fall on top of each other. The game was stopped after six minutes. Supporters tore down advertising boards to use as stre stretchers. Emergency services were called in to provide assistance. After the incident, there was an inquiry report called the Taylor Report. The development of this report was overseen by Lord Taylor of Gosforth, which concerned the causes and the aftermath of Hillsborough. An interim report was first published in 1989 in August with the full report published in January 1990. The report found the main reason for the cause was the failure of police control. The report also recommended that stadiums should now have seating. Then the Football League introduced a rule that all clubs in the higher divisions must have seating in their stadium. Other, other recommendations of this report included points such as the sale of alcohol within a stadium, crush barriers, fences, turnstiles and ticket prices. Four days after the incident, 19th of April, The Sun published their a headline which shocked Liverpool fans with their headline, The Truth, which slammed Liverpool fans for them being the cause of this disaster. After the incidents with the Sun, Liverpool fans and the people made a campaign to get people not to buy the Sun. After the 2012 report was released, the editor-in-chief of the Sun, Kelvin McKenzie, issued an apology which was later rejected by Trevor Hicks, as he said it was too little, too late. There have also been other controversies with people, TV shows and magazines, such as FHM's 2002 November issue, Edward Pierce's article, EastEnders, Charles Itanji, Jerry Mahon, Alan Davis's podcast comments, Fans Chance, and Oliver Poppywell. On the 12th of September 2012, the Hillsborough Independent Panel published its reports on the findings of Hillsborough, as it also launched its website including 450,000 pages of material collated over two years from 85 organisations. The report concluded that no Liverpool fans were responsible in any way for this disaster, and its main cause was a lack of police control. Also, that crowd safety was compromised at every level. The panel also concluded that 41 of the 96 people who died could have survived and had the emergency services reacted quicker. The panel also found that the South Yorkshire Police, police and other emergency services made a strenuous attempt to deflect blame for the disaster from themselves onto Liverpool supporters. How did the report affect Liverpool residents? Yeah. Great day. What's the feeling towards the police and what happened and covering up the evidence? Well, the, the hierarchy of the police, you know, it's despicable. No, nobody blames the ordinary policeman. It's the conspiracy in the police federation and the total smear and cover up. Well, I think we're, uh, we're, we're on, the, on the right steps now. So after 23 years, uh, I think the stone wall is going to be the Attorney General and then the, the, the law then, isn't it? High course. Uh, that could be another brick wall we've got to climb over and take a tunnel under, I don't know. Yeah, it'll still go on, won't it? I don't think we'll ever get the real, the whole, whole well, at street. least you've got some justice, But we know, justice, like, it? it wasn't the Liverpool people. Yeah. Or Liverpool fans, as you yeah. say. Uh, very awful now. Yeah. Right. So for 23 years, we've all known the truth. Every single one of us, the Maisie side, Liberal fans and Everton fans, have known the truth. It was a cover-up, right? The government didn't want to know. Maggie Thatcher didn't want to know, did she? And it's come on now. David Cameron has gone like that out today, like that. He's apologised to Maisie side. He's apologised to the country, hasn't he? It's just what, what the rest of the country 20... knows. What yeah. we've always known. Be... When I'm travelling around the country or visiting different parts of the country, I don't have to defend my city no more, because now everyone knows what the truth is. I don't feel like I need to defend where they come from. Yeah, yeah, spot on. Well shared. Yeah, it's true that.
Do you think the disaster could have been averted? Uh, yeah, I think it could have been averted if it was more organised and if all the Liverpool fans were being located to the correct stands. Was the event organised? Um, I don't think it was that organised because when the Lappings Lane end got too crowded, superintendent opened the gate, which was clearly the wrong thing to do. What's your opinion on Hillsborough? Um, I don't think it was really that organised and I just feel that if it, was, if it ran better at the beginning, if everyone knew where they were going, and if everyone was like taken to the correct stands, then none of that would have happened, and then it would have just been another game to remember. Many years have passed, where's the time gone? The fight can't